want to know how to lose weight easily? Stay tuned to find out more. Hi, my name's Julie Poole. I'm a hypnotherapist and I've helped hundreds of people to lose weight, get healthy and gain the life that they want. Today I'm going to talk to you about some of the basic parts of that journey of losing weight. It isn't about diets, it isn't about starvation and it isn't about going without. What it is about is healthy eating and a healthy lifestyle and by doing this the weight falls off all by itself. So the first few things to look at are beliefs and emotions and patterns. And these are the things that we need to break. When you go on a diet, you're told what you should be eating. You're told what you're not allowed to have. And immediately the battle begins. And we all know what that battle's like. I want a cake, you can't have a cake. I want a pastry, you can't have a pastry. I want, I want, you can't have. It's not fair. And the battle rains on. Now with hypnotherapy, the way to deal with this is to find those old beliefs and to delete them. Your brain, your mind, your beliefs are basically computer programs. And by deleting those programs, your brain runs a different message. So you know the new foods that you want to eat, the healthy foods you want to eat. We're not stupid, we know what we should be doing. The issue is those old beliefs. Heard this one? Eat all your dinner and you can have a pudding. Mm -hmm. And what's the pudding? Sweet, sticky, starchy food. Probably something with pastry or custard or something very gooey and starchy or very sweet ice cream or some other form of high sugar pudding. What about this one? Don't throw food away. That's wasteful. It's a mortal sin. How dare you waste what you've been given? So we overeat and overeat. We clean our plate because that's what we've been told to do. Even when our stomach's saying, I'm full now, stop eating. And what about this one? If you're a good girl or a good boy, you can have sweeties. Do you see the way that these words that we hear over and over create these programs within us? They create these programs that don't serve us, that don't help us. Because when we try and eat healthy, these old programs that are running and out of date, stodgy, starchy, sweet, sticky, processed rubbish foods are telling us that that's what we want. It's not. It makes us fat. It makes us sluggish. It makes us tired. Generally, the sweet, sticky foods give you bloatedness, IBS, pains and cramps. What part of that is reward? Well, part of that is comfort. And it's these beliefs that we can change very simply and very easily under hypnosis. You can also do it yourself under self-hypnosis and under meditation. In the description box below, you'll find a link to my website where there is a free fact sheet, information sheet on everything I'm telling you today. There are also links to some audio downloads to help you lose weight. Um, and everything is there that you need. All right, so we've talked a little bit about the beliefs. Let's talk now about the emotions. Many of us overeat or eat the wrong things when we are stressed or down or bored or lonely. Again, it's looking at all of those underlying reasons why we overeat. And those emotions need to be neutralized and released. And again, this is easy to do. The third element is about self-love. Sounds easy, yeah, I like myself, yes, I love myself, but do you really? We don't want to take care of somebody we don't like very much. It's too much effort, we can't be bothered. So when we have these negative thoughts about ourselves, not good enough, not worthy, can't do it, no willpower, it wouldn't work anyway, what's the point? They hold us back. So what we need to do is be building our self-esteem, our self-worth, our self-love, and immediately that these start to come up, along with confidence and the belief in ourselves that we do have free will and we do have motivation and we can do this, then it becomes easier and easier to start to eat healthy. So let's talk about how to change old patterns. Take a pattern like not throwing food away. This is easy to break, you can do this. Look at what's on your plate. When you've had enough, say to yourself, I don't want any more, I can leave this. It's all right, I'm allowed. 
and then put that food in the bin or put it in a container for another time. Start to train yourself that when you've had enough, it's enough and it's all right to stop, to stop eating. It's this stop valve that we need to start putting back in place. Babies have it. We had it when we were born. If you look at any baby of six or nine months old in a high chair, when they've had enough, they all do the same thing. The mouth closes, the head turns away, and there's a, no, I don't want any more. And what does mum do? Oh, just have one more. Here comes the aeroplane. And mum is pushing you and pushing you to keep eating and keep eating, even though your stomach is telling you, I've had enough. We stopped listening to our stomach a long time ago. And through hypnosis, determination, meditation, just focus, you can start listening to it again. Start listening to your stomach when it says stop eating. Leave the food, put it away. It'll be there for supper, it'll be there tomorrow. If it's something that won't keep, that won't do well, sitting in the fridge overnight in a container, put it in the bin. Because what will happen is over time you'll start to put less and less on your plate until you're putting exactly the right amount that you need. Now, let's talk about how much you should eat. The amount that we eat varies from person to person. Basically, the bigger your hands are, the bigger your stomach is. The rule of thumb that I use with my clients is one fist and another one and then another two. So four fists. The bigger your body, the bigger your hands, the bigger your stomach, the bigger your portion. If you've got tiny hands, are you eating the same as your husband or your friends? You shouldn't be. You're overeating. So start to use that as a rule of thumb for your main meal. The next part that's really important, essentially important, probably one of the most essential parts is proportion. Everybody thinks portion size, portion size. Yes, it's important, but proportion is far more important. The way I get people to work it is imagine those four fists. Now, that's on a plate, so that's four quarters. One quarter should be your protein. That's a decent chicken breast or a nice piece of fish. That's a quarter of the plate should be your protein. The other quarter next to it should be your carbs. This is your potatoes or rice or pasta. The other two quarters, the other half of the plate is your veg, salad or fruit or all three. So half of your plate is where you're getting your vitamins and minerals from. This half of the plate with the protein and the carbs is where you're getting your energy from. Think about, for a moment, the colours on a plate. All of the carbs are white. So your pasta, your potatoes, your rice are full of starch and starch is sugar. And think about starch for a moment. What our mums or grands used to put starch in a bottle of water and spray it onto cuffs and collars of a shirt to make them nice and firm and hard. Do you really want that in your gut? I don't. So let's talk about the next element, the rainbow. Mix and match your colours every day. Mother Nature makes it ever so easy for us to figure out if we're having a balanced, nutritious diet. How do we know if it's balanced? If it's a different colour, it's a different content. Yellow sweet corn has got a different nutrition, a different vitamin, a different mineral to orange carrots. And they're different to purple beetroot, and they're different, and they're different, and they're different. If it's a different colour, it's a different content. So to make sure you're getting the range that you need, over the space of a week, 10 days, mix and match as many colours as you can on your plate. And it's not just the salad and the veg and the fruit that are the obvious colours. People often miss this one too. Your protein, that's colours too. Red beef, white chicken, pink salmon, white cod. Different meats and fish have different colours. Now, let's talk about oils. I want you to think about your body, your stomach, your digestive system a little bit like a car, a car engine. And the car is your body and the engine is your stomach. And just like a car, it needs the right fuel. If you put diesel in a petrol engine, it's not gonna be very happy and it's not gonna go very well. And your body is exactly the same. If you fill it with the wrong foods, it's not going to work. Your body sees food as fuel. So I want you to start seeing food as fuel too. Where is the nutrition? Where is the protein? Where is the energy? How is this going to help me? 
And just like good fuel, your body also needs lots of water. The same as a car. If you don't put water in a car, it will overheat and it will break down. Your body is the same. It needs lots of water. Your digestive system has got loads and loads of pipes, like a hose pipe. And the food that you're putting down, it needs to flow. And without enough water, it gets sludged up and it doesn't flow properly. So we want lots of water to be able to make that flow. The third part is oil. Like a car, we have lots of moving parts. And without enough oil, everything starts to get rusty and creaky and seize up. Our elbows, our hips, all our moving parts. They hurt, they ache, our skin gets dry, we need oil. But it's the right oil. So the right oils are got from fish, uh, from nuts, from olives, from olive oil, from coconut oil. Now, what to avoid is bread. Bread, 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 bread. The worst thing you can be eating for your system, for your weight, for your energy. I don't care what it says on the packet. It's healthy this, it's got this extra and this. It's not good for you. Try and reduce or avoid bread, all bread. It's really not good for you. It's stodgy, it's starchy, it bloats up in your stomach. It slows down your digestive system. It gives you cramps and IBS and weight gain. So try and avoid bread. The next thing behind that, running a close second of completely awful for your body is pasta, full of just wheat, it's gluten. Gluten, gloopy, sticky, starchy food in your gut. Your gut doesn't do well with it. Try and swap it for something else like a jacket potato or rice noodles or rice. Use bread sparingly, use pasta sparingly and you'll find that your digestive system picks up no end. The next thing to avoid, and the biggest one really, is processed foods. I want you to think about your body biologically. It hasn't changed, I don't think at all, in about 20,000 years. What were we eating back then? We ate off the land, we ate from the sky, we ate from the sea and we ate from the rivers. That's what our body was designed to eat. It knows how to eat it, it knows how to process it in its natural form. That's the bit underlined, in its natural form. So if you're eating a chicken breast or a slice of steak, does it look like it's just been carved off a chicken or a cow? Yeah, it does. But does a chicken Kiev or a chicken nugget look like that? No. Covered in flour and breadcrumbs and additives and preservatives and your stomach says, I don't know what that is. I don't recognise it. I don't know how to process that. It will eventually process it, but it'll take two or three times longer. And that is adding on weight. So it's not about focusing on losing weight. It's about focusing on caring about yourself, wanting that energy. Wanting your skin to be glowing, your hair to be shiny, to be sleeping well at night, to have great digestion, to no longer have IBS, constipation, no longer be in pain, no longer feeling exhausted all the time. Do this regime. Build your self-confidence. Build your self-esteem. Reprogram yourself to those beliefs of those foods that tell you that these sweet, sticky, starchy foods are comfort and reward. They're not. They're punishment. They take away, they reduce. They're not helping you and they're not your friend. And when you've done all that, you'll find that it's easy to lose weight. If you want more information, the link to my website is below in the description. Thanks for watching. And if you like this video, please subscribe or share or like and pass it along. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.